Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, we have kind of a, a cool fusion of a classic pattern tonight. Um, also, to match the classic pattern, we're tying on an HMH. This is literally the first time that I've ever tied on one. It's a pretty cool vise. Um, anyway, I've got a size 12 scud hook in the in the vise, and I'm going to be using two threads on this. Uh, this is Uni Thread 3 aught in yellow. It's very similar to the Uni Stretch that they make. So I'll be making the body out of that. And then instead of wrapping my soft hackle with this bigger, thicker thread, I'm going to switch it out and uh, do something a little bit different. But this is this is kind of a variation of the partridge in yellow. Um, but anyway, this is a very flat thread. So as you can see, if I if I rub it on the hook, it really flattens out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it a little bit for, back from the eye and start winding over the top of itself. And when I get about to here, I'm going to trim the excess off. And that will help with the taper of this fly. So now I'm just going to continue down the bend of the hook. You can see that stays nice and flat. I'm going to go to about right there. And now I'm going to twist up my thread. And this is where this griffin bobbin really comes in handy because the two arms really balance this out. Uh, the other thing is when I twist this up, I'm going to turn the hook to the side like this so that when my thread's hanging, it's not going to be impeded by the jaw right there. So I'm going to turn it to the side, and I'm also going to put my finger right here so when I twist it up, it's not going to mess up the taper that I just created. So I'm going to twist it up clockwise. It shouldn't take too many twists. Um, and now I'm just going to wrap it back up the body. And this is a really good technique you can use for midges, for um, you know, caddis pupa, those types of things. And about right here, I'm going to do the same thing, twist it up again. So I'm going to go about to right here. You can see that's a very subtle taper. And then I'm going to untwist it before I whip finish that off. Because if you leave it twisted up for your whip finish, it'll, it'll catch all up. Not good. So just an easy two turn whip finish. And then I'm going to switch threads. So I've just got some brown or camel a dot uni thread and for the little thorax or hot spot or whatever you want to call it I'm just going to use some UV tan ice dub So just a little sparse ball of dubbing brush it out just a little bit and now for the hackle um, I've uh, selected a piece of partridge hackle or partridge feather from a, a full pelt this one happens to be from nature spirit and they're some of the best partridge pelts that I've I've used so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel off the fluff okay so I've I've got my uh, hackle prepared. I just kind of grabbed it with uh, the hackle pliers and preened it down to find that tie-in point. So that's where I'm going to tie it in, but before I tie it in, I'm just going to cut a little triangle into it. So that's, that's enough to be tied down onto the hook. So we're ready to wrap. Now these hackle pliers are cool because it's got a little spring, a little bit, little bit of rubber right here. So if you pull it too hard, there's a little bit of give 
um, and then it's got a steel or a, a, an aluminum center ring that allows you to use your finger to turn the hackle onto the hook. So I'll grab that and just kind of preen the, the hackles back as you wrap it forward. You can do them as sparse or as dense as you want. And that's about where I'll end up with it. Um, so it uh, seems like the, the partridge is going all over the place. That's fine. I just went in and found that stem and trimmed it off. Now I'm just going to draw all those fibers back. And just wrap over those butts and make a nice little head. Just like that. Anyway, as you can see, I mean, they're there are all different kinds of ice dubs out there, all different colors of the, the uni 3 aught thread. Um, so the variations on this pattern are, are basically endless. Anyway, super simple fly. You should be able to tie a bunch of these in, in short time. So give them a tie and try them out.